Alright guys, we're back for another Dilcom Battle video. So I just wanted to do a quick video. I wanted to discuss some um, things that we could potentially see uh, in terms of domains. So I actually really like what Dokkan has done with the domain, like kind of like ability, the Dokkan field. It does feel kind of fresh to me. I don't know. I mean, it, you know, standbys, I, I, I saw a lot of people say they're basically just active skills. And you want to know what? Yeah, they, they standbys are just active skills, right? Like, there's not really too much of a difference there. But the domain, it kind of like changing the, the battlefield and then having like this big effect that's up for a little bit. It, it certainly is, I think, a good idea. Um, and I've just pulled up a bunch of characters. You know, I, I kind of looked around to see what some people were saying. I asked some homies to see, like, you know, what are some Dokkan domains or Dokkan fields we can see? Now, right now, we have two. So we have Infinite Zamasu, right, when he kind of transforms and takes over, like, all the sky and stuff like that. I mean, this was, as soon as we saw, you know, Dokkan Field in the original, like, maintenance and stuff like that, like, I, I felt like this was so obvious, like, that it Infinite Zamasu, like, it makes so much sense. And then we saw uh, this Trunks also has a Dokkan field or a Dokkan domain, right? Where he, you know, it's when he just blows Cell out of West City into the Wasteland so they can fight there and not destroy West City, which is being rebuilt, right? So I, I think it's a cool idea. So we could go over some characters, I think, that could potentially have domains. Now, one of the first ones I want to bring up is Gogeta and Broly. Remember when Gogeta and Broly are fighting, they kind of, like, shatter the dimensions and then they're kind of just, like, fighting, like, in this, like, weird, like, area. That could happen. Now, keep in mind that they typically do, like, pair up Gogeta and Vegito characters together. Because, I mean, people scream at each other so loud about Gogeta versus Vegito, but they are truly just exactly the same damn character. Like, there's actually no difference. Back in the day, Patara Fusion was, like, confirmed everywhere to be stronger than Fusion Dance. But... Dragon Ball has now, like, retconned that. Like, they've they've walked back on that, right, essentially. So, it's like, Gogeta and Vegito are literally the same thing right now. It's just they're different characters, so that, like, you know, the Dragon Ball brand could just be like, okay, here's your Vegito figure, and here's your Gogeta figure, right? Like, that, that, that's essentially the only difference between them. So, Dokkan pairs these guys up all the time, which we've seen a million times, right? So, I do expect, because we just got the fusing blue Vegito character, we're going to be getting a, f a fusing blue Gogeta character as well. I think New Year's, maybe, next Tanabata, we could see, you know, a Goku and Vegeta. My guess would be a base form Goku and Vegeta, who would fuse into blue Gogeta, is what we would see. That that, that That's kind of like my guess for what we get for that. Um, and then he easily could potentially have a, a Dokkan domain here, right? Him and we could get like a Broly. They could both have it, right? I, I don't really know like what the effects might be. I mean, maybe Gogeta would, you know, buff fuse fighter characters or movie hero characters, or something like that. I don't know. Well, typically, so... It did seem as though they had designed STR Super Vegito and Tech Super Gogeta to work together. So, I mean, I'm sure if Gogeta had a Dokkan domain, it would probably be designed to work well with the blue Vegito character we just got, right? But I, to me, this seems like such an obvious, uh, like, Dokkan field or Dokkan domain. Uh, the next one, of course, is kind of like the Goku Black Rift and all this type of stuff. Right now, I mean, literally, it's in 12 hours. Uh, we're going to be getting the reveal for the part two LRs. And I think both characters here could potentially have Dokkan Fields or Dokkan Domains. I think Trunks could kind of like, you know, absorb all the energy and stuff like that with the Spirit Bomb Sword. That could easily be a domain. And then Goku Black with the Rift and his clones and stuff like that. That could also, I think both of these could easily be domains or Dokkan Fields. Right, I, I think I think both characters. I mean, we'll see in twelve hours. Goku Black right now is expected. He's anticipated that he is going to be one of the part two LRs, but we'll see. Trunks is definitely going to be one of the part two LRs. I'd say the chances of that are about ninety nine point nine 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 percent. So, uh, I'm not really too concerned about that. But you know, there's those two options. This one, I mean, oh, dude, I thank God. They saved LR hit. Remember in April when I'm like, oh my God, they got to do LR hits. And then they didn't do LR hit. And it's like, oh, they're idiots. Well, now I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Because hits time skip could be a Dokkan domain. And it could be, dude, imagine if hits 
is the enemy cannot super attack while it's up. Like it could be, it could be super busted, right? Like something like that. That would do. That would be so fire. A uh, hit with his time skip as his Dokkan field it is actually just going to be like the sickest shit in the world. Which you know. So remember LR Super Seventeen? They dropped him, and then like the very next LR introduced nullifications into the game. Even though Super Seventeen should have had it, that almost could have been Hit's fate, right? They could have dropped Carnival LR Hit, and then a couple of months later dropped Dokkan Fields. That would have sucked so bad. But this would be fire. Hit with the time skip. Oh my god. I, th this is now... He has shot to the top. Like, this is one of my most wanted characters now. Like, LR hit with a time skip Dokkan domain. Oh god. Um, Next, I think we get a, a some sort of Majin Buu character. Maybe a Buhan. Buhan is one of the most deserving characters right now. Um, of getting like a major unit, like I, I, a Dokkan Fest Buhan would be outstanding. Remember that Buhan, you know, for Blue Vegito and Super Saiyan Four Gogeta and Beast Gohan and stuff like that. You know, they're gonna come up with like Dokkan original animation and stuff like that to get them um, in the game. But um, Buhan, they don't need to do that. They have all of the references they could ever want to. Buhan does so much stuff because of the way the fight against Vegito is structured where Vegito is literally just trying to stall until Buhan absorbs him so that Vegito can save Gohan, Goten, Trunks, and Piccolo. That's Vegito's whole point, his plan. Um, so because of that, Buhan does so many attacks. So they could give us so much when it comes to a Buhan card. Um, so I, I think him having like a Dokkan domain or a Dokkan field where you're kind of inside Majin's Bu Buu's body would be cool. There already is, there's a couple of fights where you do fight inside Majin Buu. Um, I think it's the original, the physical Kid Buu Dokkan event. You fight inside Majin Buu, right? Um, so that would be very cool, uh, if, if we, we would get, I think, a Majin Buu that would do this. Then, of course, Big Daddy. This is why he hasn't gotten a Dokkan Fest until this point. Here we go. Remember, we do not, so we do have a, uh, a Garlic Jr. You know, Legends, Legends may, in fact, be mid since they don't have Garlic Jr. You know, I'm sorry. Toshi, man. Y you know, you guys gotta get Garlic Jr. first before you can talk to me. Uh, so... Garlic Jr. from the first movie isn't in, like, you know, Dokkan or Legends. Um, Dokkan has Garlic Jr. from the, the arc later on. So we could easily get... I mean, Movie Bosses is always a relevant team. We could get a powerful... Remember, Garlic Jr. links really well with these villains, too. Man, like, he has great villain links. So Garlic Jr. with, like, the dead zone as a Dokkan domain would be, again, pure flames. I, this would be awesome. So, I, again, I'm glad that we haven't gotten Garlic Jr. with the Dead Zone yet because now they could we, we could drop him and he could have that. Um, Goku has some stuff that they could still use from the movie as well, uh, as well as Gohan, right? So, uh, I, th this would be cool. I'd be really excited. I, I mean, I I would be really excited to see Garlic Jr. get this. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll see when that... I, mean, I, I would say that this is going to happen, but, I mean, we'll see when, right? Um, now, we have Whis. So, remember, Whis... Uh, oh, save search blurring is on. Well, that's useful for our YouTube video. Thank you, Google. <laughs> um, Whis can do his whole time rewind thing. So I think that this could be very intriguing potentially as like a Dokkan field. I don't know. Like a Dokkan Fest Whis? I mean, Whis could get a Dokkan Fest. I mean, I, I say that, but remember, literally any character can get a Dokkan Fest at this point. We're now far enough in the game where they could give a, you know, Zarbon, General Blue, like any of these characters, man, can actually get Dokkan Fest. I think it's just important to balance it out, right? So like right now, oh my God, massive celebration. One of the best ever. Blue Vegito, Fusion Zamasu, all this craziness. You know, the next Dokkan Fest really should be like, mercenary Tao or something like that. Like, that's what the next Dokkan Fest should be. It should not... We should not leave this celebration and they're like, all right, here's a Majin Vegeta or something like that. They should not do that. They should really, like, know when they can strike with something, you know, like Pan or Ginyu or Raditz and then know when, all right, gloves are off. It's time to drop, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. It's time to drop Blue Vegito. It's time to drop Blue Gogeta, right? Like, I think that's important. We... Could be an interesting Dokkan Fest with kind of like a time skip mechanic. Or not time skip, but time rewind. Uh, I'm not really sure how it would work or something like that, but that is just an idea I have. Uh, then we have this. 
So, uh, both Majin Buu and Gotenks kind of, like, you know, scream to leave the hyperbolic time chamber. So, I mean, we could, I guess, get something like that. Um, and then maybe the Dokkan field would end up being, like, Kami's lookout or something. But I, I, I definitely could see this happening um, as some sort of Dokkan field. We are at the point, by the way, where Gotenks has not gotten a character for quite a while what is the last Gotenks? Is it... Is it? It's pretty much like in, Int Gotenks? Is Int Gotenks really the last one? We're at the point, too, by the way, where they could drop a Dokkan Fest Gotenks. Maybe like a Goten and Trunks that would fuse or something like that. Um, and then it easily could be uh, this right here. Like like they, they could fuse in a Gotenks. Yeah, I guess Int Gotenks is the last one we had. That, they ease... Oh, I mean, I get, we had this guy as a ban unit from you know, the Gogeta movie, but... Yeah, they, they, I, I think Gotenks getting a card right now would be very, very good. I guess one thing to keep in mind is... I, I would probably want them to be a base Goten and Trunks that fuse and, you know, become like Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Because right now, we also have them. They could be coming up on an easy 8, although no 2021 characters easy 8 up to this point. So we do have base Goten and Trunks, and we have Super Saiyan Goten and Trunks. I, I would probably prefer that this this unit is like pretty much dead. I mean, they are dodge, but like this is a pre red zone character, right? So I would say, um, yeah, like like a base Goten and Trunks that would be able to, you know, maybe fuse into Gotenks, and then they'd be able to do a, a Dokkan field. And then of course, I mean, Super Boo, we literally just got an LR of him, but I mean, I don't know. I guess I guess I could do the base form Goku and just drop another one, right? Uh, and then the last one. This is when I saw some people talking about we could get like a Saiyan Saga Goku who, you know, will takes you to the, the, the wasteland where he fights Vegeta. I definitely think that that's, that's realistic as well, right? We don't have uh, Saiyan Saga Goku as a Dokkan Fest. We don't have Saiyan Saga Vegeta as a Dokkan Fest. This is, I think, a very heavily requested uh, dual Dokkan Fest at this point, And I think it would probably at this point be pretty successful. I think this would be incredible as like New Year's. I think would be awesome or golden week. I think that this could be a great one. Um, I mean, they could even do this for like worldwide or something like that. And then like, you know, part, this could either be part two, but the thing is, I mean, I, I do want both these to be Dokkan Fest. This would work best as a dual Dokkan Fest. So yeah, maybe like new year's, this would be fire. I, I would like this a lot. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. These are just some of the ideas I had that we could see for kind of like Dokkan fields or Dokkan domains. I'm sure you guys are going to have a lot of good ideas in the comments, right? We'll see. Th this is probably the one I, I want the most, this or Hit. Hit is going to, dude, Hit. Oh, I like, I was watching the Legends YouTubers, right, use uh, Ultra Hit. And he is just, he's so swaggy. I love his voice. It's like, yeah, I dude, I want like a, a powerful top tier hit in Dokkan so bad. So let me know what you guys think of that. The Dokkan field, Dokkan mechanic, all this stuff. Uh, let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys next time.